Lauren, thank you. February is Black History Month, honoring the triumphs and struggles of African Americans throughout U.S. history. Yeah, for a second straight year, a Valley nonprofit is making sure people don't just learn about black social leaders, but see them on buildings across Phoenix. Elliot Polikoff is live in downtown Phoenix with more on the Shining Light Foundation's big plans in the upcoming weeks. Hey, Elliot. Yeah, Kim, planning for the creation of these murals, it actually started back in last June. Finding artists and buildings for all 28 of these murals, it took time. But raising awareness for black leaders like Madame C.J. Walker and O.W. Gurley, it makes it all worth it. The most rewarding part about doing this project is seeing the positive feedback. It's magical. It's like going to Disneyland. Last year's Shining Light Foundation Black History Mural Project was big. As soon as it was over, CEO Gisette Knight already had bigger plans for 2022. We have way more support this year. A lot of people didn't know we was doing it again. So when they found out we were um, doing a project again, a lot of people was just donating their walls for us to paint the murals on. Thanks to some funding from Microsoft, Knight's been able to put together similar mural projects in other cities like Los Angeles, Dallas, and Atlanta. She's also able to attract new artists like Mexico native Maria Madrid Reed. I've been learning so much from this, from just getting into the, uh, to the project, and I think it's very special, and I, I hope that people are curious about them and want to learn more. This year's murals aren't just art that educates, they're art that collaborates. The foundation partnered with children in the Phoenix school districts to have the children write short essays about those in the murals, and had each artist film a 30-second documentary about what it was like to be a part of the project. Oh man, so many emotions because I, I, I feel like th these guys are, are part of me and I'm, I'm putting my, all my soul into it. All in all, 22 artists contributed to this year's project, creating murals of older trailblazers like boxers Jack Johnson and Muhammad Ali to contemporary leaders like Simone Biles and the Phoenix Suns. People wanting to see the murals, you know, little kids seeing representation of themselves out here in Phoenix. Representations that aren't going anywhere anytime soon. We definitely are going to do it again next year and do it again after that and again after that. Now for those wondering how the essays tie into the murals, once the murals are done, they're going to have a QR code that will be painted into the corner of the mural. So what you have to do is you get your phone, you pull up and, and then you go to the QR code and then the essays from the Phoenix School District children will pop up. And for anybody who wants to check out these murals, the Shining Light Foundation says that they're going to be up for at least two years. So they're not going away anytime soon. Live All in right. downtown Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family. All right, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Elliot. I'll keep an eye out for those murals.